In this video, we're going to show you how to use a toner and a generator. This can trace wires behind walls and in clusters of cables. This is the generator. This is the VDV500063. And this is the toner or the probe. And this is the 123. I'd recommend you get yourself a cord dongle like this. I borrowed this one from my neighbor's oxygen concentrator. And you want to make sure that it has a true ground prong here. Ground wire right there. We're interested in the ground. There's three huge takeaways from this video. Let's get into it. First thing you want to do is plug this in. I've capped the other wires off for safety. We want to attach the black lead to the ground wire. Just like that. Now keep in mind this is not a circuit tracer. This is a toner. The power must be off to use this. So with the power off on the wire that you're wanting to trace, you're going to attach the red lead to the wire that you're trying to trace or find out where it's going, what it's connected to, something like that. So we would connect this to our circuit in question. Then if this was off, we would turn it on. And right now we're on monotone. We're going to select this three times to get to the alternating tone. I prefer the alternating tone. Next, we're going to turn this on and we're going to dial this down to the lowest setting absolutely possible. Let me show you. On, dialing it all the way down. The reason why you want this dialed all the way down is because it's not going to be as sensitive or have pinpoint accuracy if it's all the way up. If I dial this all the way up, we're going to get the light all the way over here. And we're not even close to the wire yet. So we want to dial this all the way down. And we want to dial it in is what I would call it. Where we want to get this close to the wire we're trying to trace. And we want to bump this up. Until we see this light turn on. One more click. Now that the light's on, we're ready to tone. But first... I'm going to show you why we attach to the ground. So with this toner all dialed in, you can see right here where we're getting the light. If I take this ground wire off, you can see where we lose our light and we've lost a lot of the power that's being generated for toning purposes. So if we attach the ground back on, we get our light. If we take the ground back off, we lose our light. So the first huge takeaway is that we must use the ground to tone. Now a lot of YouTube videos are going to show you to use the neutral, but a lot of times you're tracing the neutral, the neutral might be lost. The ground is never too burnt up, it's never too shorted, the ground is almost always available in all buildings. Attached to the ground and you're going to have a better time. The second key takeaway here is that you want to be toning with the light and not the sound. Don't worry about how loud this toner gets. So long as you're toning with the light, that's going to tell you how close you are to the wire. The sound is a good indicator, but ultimately you're going to use the light to find the wire that you're looking for in a cluster of other wires. Now, the buzzing sound is something you're going to hear when you come in contact with the voltage. So when you hear this noise, that's a good indicator that you're not even close to the wire that you're trying to trace. Technically, we can attach this to the neutral and we can even trace our neutral. But that's only if we've lost it because the neutrals and grounds are usually attached together in some way, shape, or form. So you're going to probably wind up with a continuity symbol here and you're likely not going to be able to trace out. So this is very useful for tracing shorted circuits. What you're going to do, this is the more advanced section of the video. So if you are a pro, a handyman, or advanced DIY, this may be explainable. The reason why a lot of professionals like to leave the power on is because we know that there's an instant change when we make a change. So if, for example, we leave the power on and we start shaking a receptacle and the light flickers or something we know that we made a change and it's a good indication that we're on the right path you can use this as if there's voltage present 
turn all the power off and we can use this toner to hear the differences as we make them. A perfect example would be if your grounds and hots are shorted together. You would have this on the ground and just like we had this on the neutral, you would see the continuity here. The second that we make a change is the second that we're going to see a difference in the condition of the circuit. And that also applies when the toner's on. So if we pull this off, we're likely going to get a tone. So a lot of times technicians instantly they go for the circuit tracer because the wires are toned together. They say, how do I tone when my wires are shorted together? You're going to use this in reverse. So if we're in a daisy chain of receptacles, and let's say we're plugged in at the very end of our daisy chain, and the short was somewhere upstream, if we cut this circuit in half and the problem was on this side, we should get a clear tone. I get this question a lot, so that's why I'm explaining this on the back side of this video. I'm going to recap what we just showed you. You're going to turn your generator on. It doesn't have to be on alternating, but that's what I prefer. You're going to attach the black to the ground, not the neutral. Don't look at all the other YouTube videos that show you the neutral. Use the ground. Yes, you can use a ground rod outside. Sometimes you can use a screwdriver stuck in dirt. And honestly, you can amplify the signal just by touching it to your hand. Next, we're going to turn on our toner. We're going to dial it all the way down. We're going to put it close to the wire. We're going to dial it up until we get a light. To make sure we have a true good ground, we can disconnect this and hear the difference and see the light change. We can connect it back and hear it get louder and see the light turn on. I'm going to switch it to alternating right now. And now we're ready to start toning with the light, not the sound. And as we get closer to the cluster, we can dial it down. But make sure that you don't dial it too far down to where the light does not turn on. You can set up circuit tracers the exact same way with the ground method. And that's what I'd recommend you do because sometimes you're trying to trace the neutral like we explained. And that's why I recommend an extension cord. Get your 25 footer. You can bring it up ladders. You can backwards trace chandeliers. I've done just about anything you can imagine using a toner and tracing with the ground. So if your chandelier had the case energized, your chandelier is energized here. What you're going to do is you're going to plug your ground into the extension cord that's not attached to the chandelier. You're going to attach this hot wire to the case of your chandelier. And then as you start taking apart wires to figure out where the short is, we're going to get a change in the state, just like we showed you before, where Right now we're not getting a tone, but then the second you take apart that cluster of wires that had the short in it inside the chandelier canopy, you get that clear tone. And that's another really good method for using this toner. I also want to let you know that the tracers are not as accurate as the toners, so these have more pinpoint accuracy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hopefully this video did its justice. Uh, I've got some of the best toner videos on YouTube. And uh, we're just trying to make a much more clear, simple one. So the first three minutes of this video, very easy to understand. Next it gets a little bit more in depth. Then we hit on some recap. And then I went into some troubleshooting tips and tricks. Uh, let me know if I went too far. We'll see you guys on the next one.